This is what we call a two-way frequency table. It's called a two-way table because you're taking this total number and you are looking at it in terms of two different variables. So in this case, we're looking at it in terms of the age and then their preferred reading method. So let me break this down a little bit so you can understand it. First, let's look at the total number of people broken down by age. So the total number of people is right here. And this is showing you that 45 people of that 100 are between ages of 10 and 25. And then 55 of those people out of 100 are between the ages of 25 and 40. And here, in terms of the preferred reading method, 63 of the total 100 people prefer e-reading, and 37 of the total 100 people prefer reading a paper book. Notice that 63 plus 37 equals 100. So here on the outside borders of our frequency table, we see the total 100 broken up into ages and then also broken up into the preferred reading method. So these numbers here add up to 100, the ages add up to 100, and these numbers here add up to 100. Now let's talk about the middle part of the table. If we look at this first row for ages 10 through 25, what this is doing is it's breaking up those 45 people that are between the ages of 10 and 25 into the number that prefer e-readers and paper books. So notice that 37 plus 8 equals 45. And that's the same in this row. For the ages 25 to 40, remember there's 55 people in that age group. This row breaks down those 55 people into the number that prefer e-readers and the number that prefer paper books. 26 plus 29 equals the 55 total. And then if we look at this column, the e-readers, remember there's 63 total e-readers, it breaks down those e-readers into the number of people between the ages of 10 and 25 and the number between the ages of 25 and 40. If we add 27 and 26, we get the total number of e-readers. And then lastly, the total number of people that prefer paper books, this column right here, those 37 people. This column breaks down those 37 people to the number of people between the ages of 10 and 25 and the number of people between the ages of 25 and 40. 8 plus 29 is 37. So let's look at it in total. If I were to ask you, how many total people did they survey? How many total people are we showing you the results for in this table? 100. Remember, this is the total. How many total people prefer paper books? 37. How many of those people surveyed are between the ages of 25 and 40? 55. How many people surveyed between the ages of 10 and 25 prefer to read a paper book? Well, ages 10 and 25 is this row. Paper book is right here. That would be eight people. How many people between the ages of 25 and 40 prefer the e-reader? Well, 25 and 40 is this row, and e-reader is this column. You just kind of pull them down to see, yep, it's this one right here, 26. Of those surveyed, do those that prefer a paper book are the majority between the ages of 10 and 25 or the majority between the ages of 25 and 40? Well, let's look at those that prefer the paper book. Eight are between the ages of 10 and 25. 29 are between the ages of 25 and 40. So the majority are between the ages of 25 and 40. We could also calculate the percentage of those 
between the ages of 25 and 40 that prefer paper books. So if I wanted to say how many out of the total people prefer paper books, I would say 29 out of 100, which is 29%. If I wanted to ask of those that prefer paper books, how many of those people are between the ages of 25 and 40? So of this total, how many are between the ages of 25 and 40? 29. So I can put that in my calculator and I get about 78%. So if you're ever asked to calculate a percentage, make sure when you're looking at a two-way frequency table, are they saying of the total people surveyed? Or are they saying of those, in this case, of those that prefer paper books, what percentage of those are between the ages of 25 and 40? And that's just a few of the questions you might get and some of the valuable information that you can pull from a two-way frequency table.